Hello, my Cosmic Healing Tribe. Welcome to the Daily Astrology and Tarot Report for the weekend of January 30th and 31st, 2021. So we have the Moon in Virgo all weekend. And the Moon in Virgo is very much about the inner healthcare, inner organizer, inner coder. This is where you really are focused on your day-to-day -day activities, how you're treating your body, how you're organizing your life and your environment so that you can bring your dreams into manifestation. There is a tension here. It means that the algorithm has to change, that your actions have to change, that there has to be an experimentation with what you're doing to get to where you want to go. Now, the moon today is in a sexy quadrant with the packed house of Aquarius. So this is the energy, again, of there's tension and we're working it out. Let yourself be proactive. Let yourself be experimental. Let yourself just get down to the daily little tasks, especially when we have all these really intense overall energies. When the big lofty dream is hard to figure out, experiment in the little ways. Let yourself play through the solution. Play through the problem. Now we do have the moon in support with Uranus to this weekend. And so this allows us to have a really good insight, follow your instincts, trust your gut. But we also have the moon opposed Neptune tomorrow. And this is a weird energy. This is where delusions, addictions, and escapism can come in. So this today, commit to finding ways to heal yourself through this weekend and throughout this whole year, really. We also have Mercury stationed to go retrograde today. And Mercury is going to be retrograde in Aquarius until February 20th. So this is going to be a review of communication about all the Aquarian rule things and wherever that falls in your house, in your chart. Now, if you would like to know, you can reach out to me and I will help you make a Mercury retrograde plan based on your natal chart. And that'll be $50 USD and you can email me for it. Now, with Mercury going retrograde, this is a very good time. You guys know I love a good retrograde because you, if you don't have a, if you don't have a ability to review a plan, do you have a plan at all? So when you have those stumbling words and you're trying to figure it out, just keep going because you're allowing yourself to experiment. You're allowing yourself to heal. The card of the day in this whole weekend is very appropriate. It's the Queen of Swords. Cut it out. Cut it out. Listen, when the Queen of Swords comes up, it's saying it's time to just make a decision to be like, okay, this is over. This is no longer in line with my vibration. This action, this relationship, this thought pattern, this vibration, whatever it is, mm, I got to cut it. Shout out to my girl for these swords. I just got to cut it. So whatever you got to cut, say bye-bye to anything that's not honoring your energy because you have dreams to manifest. And quite frankly, you don't got time for that peasantry. I love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Or Monday. Bye.